Hi, and welcome to another Honest Review. Now get ready to be blown away by the product we're looking at today. It's the Babyliss Super Power Pro Hair Dryer. So I don't know about you, but I'm usually one of these people that doesn't replace a hair dryer until mine has completely stopped working. But I was on holiday in the States recently and I tried a friend's Dyson hair dryer and pretty quickly I realized I needed an upgrade. The Dyson was super quick on drying my hair, almost too quick, but at $400, it was a little beyond my price range. So I set out to uh, find a hair dryer to replace this one. This is the Babyliss 2000 watt that I've been using for 10 years. In fact, the whole family has been using it pretty much every day over that period of time, and it's still going strong, but it's just a little slow. So I shopped around and looked for the best rated hair dryer on the market in my price range on Amazon. And one of them was this Babyliss Super Power Pro 2400 watt dryer. Now it was actually on offer. So the recommended retail price is 60 pounds in the UK. And this one was off on offer for 32 pounds 99. So combined with the fact that it's a brand I know, I thought I couldn't go too far wrong. So I snapped it up. Now, looking on Amazon in the US and, and looking at the US generally, I can't find this exact model for sale over there, but there is a 2,800 watt dryer for around $79, which looks like a similar model. So I've got links to both in the video description. So take a look at that if you wanna find out more. But first, let's take a look at how this dryer works. So this dryer has three different temperature settings. You've got hot, warm and cool. And it's also got the cold shot button up at the top. So the, for the purposes of this review, because I've never known what a cold shot button actually does, I looked it up and apparently you can use this cold blast of air uh, to cool the scalp and apparently it seals the hair cuticle after blow drying, adding shine to your hair. Who knew? Um, the dryer also has two different power settings and I've been using it on the highest power setting and that provides a really good jet of air to dry hair quickly. So we're gonna compare the old with the new. And we, earlier we recorded just how long it took for me to dry my hair from towel dry to bone dry with both. Have a look. Okay, old model first, ready, set, Go. So that's wet to dry in three minutes, 20.94 seconds with the older model. And now it's the turn of the Super Power Pro. So for the Babyliss Super Power Pro model, it's two minutes, 46.72 seconds. So it's about half a minute saved every morning. I actually thought it would be more than that, but still half a minute is something. So as you'd expect, this Babyliss uh, Salon Standard higher watt dryer is a lot quicker. It will also use a bit more power to run, but then that's probably offset by the faster drying times. It has an ionic system uh, which releases negatively charged ions to help keep the hair sleek. And I have to say, I do notice my hair is less frizzy when I use this model. I haven't actually used any tongs on it today. You could probably tell it's not that sleek, but I didn't feel I needed to. The dryer comes with a removable filter on the back so you can clean it every now and then. And it also has a five year guarantee. I've been using the nozzle on this dryer uh, to dry my hair. And the only criticism I have is that sometimes if I knock the hairbrush against it while I'm drying, the nozzle can come off. But that was more a problem, a beginner's problem, and it I doesn't tend to happen now. I did also notice in some of the reviews online, some people saying they found this model a bit heavy. Now it is a ceramic model, so it's gonna be a little heavier than a plastic version. I'm no weightlifter. Uh, I like to th think I'm fit and active, but I'm not particularly strong and I don't have a problem using this. So I think it will be fine for the average person, but if you have a particular condition or weakness in the arms, then maybe that's something you should think about. Uh, it has an air conditioning motor to prevent overheating. And I've got to say, 
for the price, I think this is a good model. I'm pleased with my purchase. This has been another Honest Review. Check out the links in the description box if you want to find out a little bit more about the Babyliss Super Power Pro Dryer. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.